everyone. Thanks for checking out wafflemakershub.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bella Rotating Waffle Maker and we're going to be trying out some Belgian waffles and see how it does. Hopefully it'll help you when choosing which waffle maker to purchase and hopefully it'll make us some delicious Belgian waffles. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the Bella Belgian Waffle Maker. It is a flip waffle maker as you can see. I've already unpacked it from the box and plugged it in. On the top there, there is a light that indicates when the waffle maker is heated up, and it also has a dial so you can set the temperature of the waffle maker. I have set our dial to medium just to give it a nice test, and I also have already made some of our amazing waffle batter, which you can find the recipe on our website on wafflemakershub.com, so I would check that out because that's good for any waffle maker you choose. So the Bella Belgian Waffle Maker does have a grease tray at the bottom, which will catch any dripping batter or any grease that may come out. It slips out really easily and should be perfectly easy to clean. So I'm just gonna stick that right back under the waffle maker. Another feature I also liked about this one when I took it out of the box was that this handle is collapsible. So while I have it out now, when you go to put it away, you can just fold it in half and it makes the waffle maker even smaller. So if you're short on space, that could be a good option for you. But right now I'm just gonna pop it right out. It also seems to flip really easily. So once we put our batter in, we'll just flip it over. And I really like this feature on the back. It has another light that indicates when the waffles are ready. So as you can see, it's on right now, which means that our waffle maker has heated up and is ready to go. And when I put the waffle batter in, I'm guessing that that light will go off. And then when it's done, it'll come back on. When the waffle maker is flipped upside down, you can't open it. It doesn't open, so it's locked. And when we flip it back over, it will open up. So those look like some nice big Belgian waffle trays. It should make a nice deep Belgian waffle for you. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. We'll put some of our amazing waffle batter in and see what happens. Okay, so I've opened the Bella Belgian Waffle Maker. The light indicated that the waffle iron was hot and ready to go. And I have a cup of batter ready, which is what the recommendation was to use in the Bella packaging. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. I'm gonna try to get it evenly all over the waffle maker. That looks good, we'll get some over here. All right, so that was about a cup of batter. And I'm gonna close the waffle maker. We'll give it a flip. And now we wait. Okay, so it's only been about one minute and the blue light turned back on, which would indicate that the waffles are ready. I also wanna note that some of the waffle batter did drip out, so maybe next time I'll use a little bit less, but it was easily caught by the drip tray, which is great. So I'm gonna flip it over and check. We'll see if it's done. The light does indicate that it is. Open up the waffles. Perfect, so they do look cooked. The waffle maker top came off really easily, which means they didn't stick. I think I would like them a little bit more brown, so I'm gonna close the waffle maker and see if I can brown them just a tad bit more. That also might be an indicator that next time I should turn the heat up on the waffle maker. So we'll give it another minute and see how it goes. Okay, so I let the waffles cook for just another minute to see if they would get a little bit more brown. So we're gonna check them now. So I'll flip the machine over and there's some of the batter that dripped out again. And open it up and they still look about the same so maybe next time I will try to start with the heat higher or maybe that's just the way that this waffle maker works so let me see if I can pull them out easily I'm just gonna try to lift the waffle makers out with a fork looks like they come out pretty easy they do seem really soft though as I just tried to pick it up they just crumbled so let's take them out of the waffle maker and see how they taste I took the waffles out of the Bella Belgian waffle maker and they did kind of fall apart. They look a little bit cakey. So if I push it, not very crispy. However, they did come out of the maker really clean. So the waffle maker looks like I've never even used it. So a few wipes from the grease tray and the batter on the outside that did drip and it should be back to looking brand new. So that's it for the Bella Belgian Flip Waffle Maker. It did have some really nice features which I like, like the collapsible handle, which was great for storage the light on the top that indicated when the waffle maker was hot, as well as the light on the bottom, which also showed us when the waffles were done. Those were great. Next time, I think I'm gonna try to turn the heat up a little bit, so maybe our waffles will come out a little bit more crispy. Also, it was great that the grease tray or the waffle drip tray did catch all the batter that dripped out. 
So next time maybe I'll only use three quarters of a cup of waffle batter instead of the full cup. Overall, it's a good little waffle maker. It seemed to come out, the waffles came out really clean and doesn't look like it needs much maintenance as far as cleaning goes. And hopefully the waffles will taste delicious. Thanks everybody. Go to our website and check out wafflemakershub.com for some great recipes and also to check out reviews of other waffle makers. Have a good day.